B. Und warum möchtest du, Jungmann, auf einer der Schulen des Führers werden? Weil ich Führervolk und Vaterland an einer verantwortungsvollen Stelle dienen will. Hey everyone, I'm Johnny, and today we're taking a look at a German film, Before the Fall, from 2004. This is a World War II film, but one that focuses on a very specific and often overlooked chapter of the war in Nazism. That is the famous secondary boarding schools of Nazi Germany, known as the National Political Institutes of Education, a place for brainwashing and conditioning youth to become future leaders of Nazi Germany. Before the Fall is not a war movie with many action or battle scenes. Those students of the National Political Institutes, known as Napola, frequently did get called into action. However, the story focuses on the atmosphere, indoctrination, and experience of being a student at these schools. It is by far the most immersive movie, focusing on these schools, expanding on themes covered in other famous movies, such as Europa Europa, The Bridge, or even one of the more recent satires, Jojo Rabbit. Now let's... Each of you will be given the opportunity to ignite and throw a grenade. Before the Fall is told from the point of view of two teenagers, one an example of so-called Aryan athletic perfection, a boxer, handpicked to represent the school in a boxing competition, taking place between the numerous Naplas around Germany. The other protagonist of the story is an educated, thoughtful writer, who made his way into the school by virtue of his father, a high-ranking Nazi party official. The film takes place mid-war, where since 1940 the schools have been increasingly controlled by the SS. By 1941, there were over 30 schools and 6,000 enrolled pupils. Napoli schools were not run the same as the Hitler Youth Organization, and were more political in nature. Before the fall balanced their main characters carefully, they are indeed portrayed as having Nazi ideology, but they are also youth, and therefore still victims, which is where the power of the story lies. The movie does not try to paint the picture of Napoli cadets having much of any room for rebellion or individual thought. The National Political Institutes accepted youth as young as 10, and their ideological upbringing within these schools was absolute, down to every aspect of life, from how they eat, speak and dress. To be admitted into Annapola, students were rigorously screened for having not only Aryan physical qualities and mental attributes, but an ideology fitting with the Nazi party. Testing took place over eight days. Those who made it into these schools were considered to have bright futures in leadership roles, in politics, administration, or the military. However, as the war progressed, they increasingly became schools for the Waffen-SS and military to draft fresh young fanatic soldiers from, meaning for most graduates, Death was likely. In the final months of the war, the majority of students attending Naples would be mobilized and were often poorly led and equipped, but eager to fight. Casualties amongst drafted Naples students in 1945 were extremely high. Ironically, students who flunked out of the schools, due to their brutal standards, were more likely to survive the war. The school had a 20% dropout rate for injuries alone. Jeder von euch dort unten sollte sich fragen, warum er sich nicht auf die Granate geworfen hat, als sie vor ihm auf dem Boden lag. Before the Fall focuses, however, on the experience of the school and less the war. The success of the film and why it works is because our protagonists only offer what in modern terms would be the slightest of protests against a school that prides itself above all else in discipline and uniformity. The movie sets the climate of the school so well that the gravity of the most minor acts of dissent from the main characters is felt in a way that you can respect their bravery, but still appreciate that they are still mentally and physically trapped within the framework of a brutal regime. The most powerful message from Before the Fall is that you get to know the Nazis, the most fanatic kind in their most elite school, and you discover as it was, that these were people with families, friends, ambitions, and even morality. This makes the message clear and disturbing. Mankind, regular people, are capable of repeating these mistakes. And the myth of being special, coupled with the feeling of belonging, can be intoxicating. Youth above any other group has always been targeted by these extreme ideologies. 
der nationalsozialistischen Bewegung, um sie zum Siege zu führen. Die Ausmerzung des Schwachen garantiert hierbei das Überleben des Starken. All right, I'm Johnny. Thanks for watching this quick overview of Before the Fall. I hope you check it out. I do highly recommend it. And I hope to see you in the next review.